What are you doing? First thing position goes to do is haul a corpse. <laughs> Good on ya. Major break risk. I saw a corpse. <sighs> well, don't haul the corpse then. Go do something else. <laughs> Like, I'm about, I'm about to lose my shit, man, I saw a corpse. It was their decision to go hold the corpse, I didn't tell them. Man, I should really take care of those corpses. Oh, God, look at the corpses. <laughs> I didn't, I, I knew there'd be corpses, but I didn't know they'd be so corpsey. <laughs> Feeding the prisoner. Prisoner doesn't have a table. I think we're going to be able to recruit them, though. This will, this will be the one, ready? 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 Recruit failed. No! 30% <laughs> chance? So a difficulty is 53, a 30% is not 47, so 30% must be like due to her not being as happy as she could be and our social uh, worker being actually not so great. Maybe we should give her a table. Well, I, I mean, I can actually build stuff now, so let's do that. Here, have a table. A small table, there you go. And a chair. Well, we're gonna give you a table and a chair so you can eat at. Look at that. Look at that. Table and chair incoming. Let's get a 2x2 two two table going on, because the colony... It's a sign of colony growth when you have to upgrade your dining table to be bigger. Oh. Boggers. A whole... Just... Look at that. And we're even being optimistic. Ready? Four? For four people. Five for a potential fifth. And six, because maybe we get a new one soon. And our colony grows even more. And I thought we were going to be stuck on three colonists all day. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get we didn't get anyone for ages. And finally two at once. When it rains it floods, eh? How's this chair? A good chair. Damn, damn Shiny Lurker is really good at building furniture. I don't think I don't think they've missed the mark once. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Normal? So normal is like the worst I've seen. We have one bad chair, and that was made by like Glopers or someone. <laughs> He's not actually supposed to be cooking. New recruit! We did it! We did it! Yay! Alright, alright, you know what this means. Okay. Any subscribers currently here watching right now, if you would like to become our newest recruit, let me just put let me just provide a word of warning first though. I'm about to perform an operation on you, and you may die. Oh, but it was pretty close to lying slot though. It was pretty close to lying slot. <laughs> Nano, that is you, man. <laughs> I promise it's not rigged for Twitch admins. <laughs> I promise it's not not rigged. <laughs> Nano, you are up, my friend. You are our next colonist. Lilith Luxembourg, aka Nano, the exiled researcher who has a peg leg. Or oh, will very soon have a peg leg. <laughs> Okay. Prisoner's hospital bed. We don't have any prisoners anymore. She's going to, the first thing she's doing, going to research. Hobble her way over to do some research. No. Firstly though, before anything else, you get a peg leg. Wait, which leg is shut off? The right leg is shut off. Shut off. So that means we should put a left peg leg in, right? To balance things out. So both legs can be gone. No. Right leg. Right leg. Right leg. Double checking. Right leg. Don't want to cut the wrong leg off. You don't. You don't want to cut. You don't want to cut the wrong leg off. Yeah, I'm gonna get banned from Twitch if if uh, Nano dies here. <laughs> you, to be fair, I'm the elephant man of the colony. Yeah, people don't like the look, the look of you because you're missing an ear. They're like, ugh, disgusting to look at. I think killing staff is against terms of service. I think it might be. Okay, time to rest. Ruffy, no, Glupus, Glopus. Glopus, I need you to perform an operation. You're in a good state to do so as well. Why are you... Oh, you're installing the peg leg. He's already going to do it. I didn't have to tell him to. He's already doing it. Glopus is eager. I mean, I'd just like to point out that Glopus has the bloodlust trait, so he's probably going to do this uh, this surgery in as bloody a fashion as possible. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> My sleep has been disturbed. <laughs> Look, I'm... I'm, uh, we're going to install a peg leg now. It's not about your rest. It's not about your beauty sleep. Check the excellent chairs. They have art pieces worked into them. Wait, what? Really? 
art. Oh my god, they do. What? They actually carve art into them? Holy shit, I did not... That's awesome. Wow, when they like, like make a masterpiece chair, they're like carving some artistic stories of the community into them. That's awesome. An engraving on this furniture depicts a heart surrounded by cones. A sardine smiles off to one side, but the work seems to symbolize God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is profound. That is profound. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm guessing we're the heart surrounded by cones, <laughs> and God is the sardine. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing. Oh, we got a story one here. A shiny lurker for black is the name of the artistic work in this piece in this chair an engraving on this furniture portrays a huge white scorched stone smoking from heat nine figures approach from a nearby valley the work seems to represent quietitude this depiction tells the story of a meteorite falling near shiny lurker's settlement on the 5th of december 5500 <laughs> the meteorite the meteorite was like the lamest thing that happened the marble meteorite up here it was like a while back, it was like a chunk of rock dropped out of the sky, and it's like, oh, there's a chunk of maybe marble, I guess, okay. <laughs> of all the things he could have told stories about, so much has happened, and he tells a story about a marble meteorite. I guess he was laying out cloud watching one day, and was like, saw a meteorite for him, and he's like, damn, that's memorable. Thing. Oh, here's another one. Lonesomeness of Glopus. <laughs> Here we go, Glopus. <laughs> An engraving on this furniture illustrates Aaron Glopus Hunter trudging through sand while vomiting. Yes! He finally told the tale of our food poisoning. The scene appears to take place inside next to a heater. <laughs> How what? The scene takes place on the outskirts of a township. The focus structure of the image almost conflicts. Yeah, there's some conflict there. <laughs> with its geometric style. This portrayal tells the story of Glopus overheating on the 8th of August, 5500. <laughs> oh my god, it was that it was that one heat wave that we had. We had a heat wave right at the start where everyone was getting sick from Shiny Loka's terrible cooking and just vomiting everywhere and there was a heat wave so people were passing out. <laughs> Successful peg leg installation. Come on. Go Glopus, you got this, buddy. You're saving our, our second doctor here, so you can have a backup. Success. Successful peg leg installation. Yeah, I love the sound. <laughs> Successful peg leg installation. Amazing. I hope this is going to give them a feed. Nano's under anesthetic. They're going to be knocked out for the next day also. Amazing. Amazing. Oh my god, there's animals! There's animals again. The wildlife is returning. We got some raccoons and hares. Oh my god. Oh my god. Trash panda. You spotted it. Qu kissed. We haven't had any animals. We've had literally zero, zero animals in the zone for ages. Because it's been deathly cold and toxic fallout. The animals are coming back. Nano didn't get killed in surgery. So we're not getting banned today. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> no Twitch terms of service violations have been performed. Awesome. So let's have a look at our new uh, our new colonist, Nano. High Baroness. Nano was uh, growing up was a High Baroness, born as a low-ranking uh, royalty in a large imperial family. She was placed in charge of running her home planet from an early age. Wow, when she was still a kid, and learned the important political and cultural skills in that role. However, her rub of love of robotics was not appreciated in a technophobic empire. The High Cardinal of the system excommunicated her, and she was never allowed to return. <laughs> wow, man. Look at the uh, stat boosts from that. Eight intellectual, four medical, a bunch of bonuses, no downsides. Damn, man. High Baroness, full upside too. She's had a good life. Seven, man, look, that's, that explains those stats. Those stats are nutty. However, she doesn't like doing any labor, being a High Baroness, I guess. It's like the problem with Beautiful is that other people like to hit on them, and then if they get rebuffed, they get unhappy. And she's a transhumanist with a uh, pain stopper. It's pretty good that she comes with a bonus modification. She can't feel any pain, so even the fact that she's, like, gone through the wars here, she'll never have any pain negative penalties. 
Being able to make decent guns is real nice. Yeah, we will need some more weaponry. Um, position at least has a backup revolver we had. Nano needs a, a rifle, so I should make a I should make a smithy. Let's uh, make a smithy over here. Okay, production field smithy. Yeah, I don't think I can make an electric smithy yet. Wood field station for smithing non-mechanical weapons and tools. Okay, that'll be fine here, I think. We'll have work. It'll have a speed penalty due to bad temperature. Oh, yeah, it's too cold in here. Um, I'll, I'll put a campfire in here. I'll just put a campfire in here for now. They can keep warm by a campfire. Um, let's build that. Okay, and we'll give them a chair as well. So they can sit and work. And let's also, uh, to help with the temperature a bit, because the campfire probably actually might make things a bit warm in there. Well, uh, I'll dig out a little bit more. Plus, we're going to probably want some more stone, too. Let's make this room a little bigger. And we might actually want to put a couple floors in. Let's get some paved tiles here. And then I'll smooth the floors over here eventually. Okay, so building the workshop. Very nice. Good priorities for now. Defense, comm station, indoor farm, private bedrooms. We'll, uh, we'll see how we go. Defenses, I think, are the first thing. I'll get some. Uh, I'll get that built, but we'll also focus more on defenses for a bit. Okay, so I want to make... How much of each stone type do I have? I have the most slate, so let's make slate walls. Just in time. So I think I'm going to like... Create some like sections of walls for cover. And then put some like uh, sandbags in there as well. Okay, and we'll probably do the same on this side too. Walls, sandbag, sandbag, sandbag. Wall, 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 wall. I'll just put a sandbag there. And we'll uh, mark these for deconstruction, I think. Get some of the steel back from that. Put some sandbags here. Okay, let's get some kind of walls like that going. Hey, Sorcerer Rob, how you doing, mate? Thank you very much for the two month sub. Appreciate it, mate. Campfire indoors, if you've never heard of safety. I mean, it's all stone in here. I guess there's a wood wall over there, but... Eh, I haven't had a campfire burn out of control so far. I seem to be pretty good with that. I have had some of my power conduits blow out, though. Okay, and we will definitely... This place has had been a bit of an issue to defend. Um, we've been pretty fine defending this side for the moment, so I think I'm happy there. And this is a little bit awkward, too, because if they decide to come around this way, I don't really have the best defenses. So I'm going to want to maybe take advantage of this wall. Get probably deconstruct this entire wall, I think. I don't like have, I don't like giving the raiders to, um, <laughs> cover to hide behind. Let's even deconstruct, like, all of this. I'll actually deconstruct all those buildings, because I don't like have, <laughs> giving the raiders cover, if I can help it. Okay. We have a couple... We have a couple... We want to make sure our night hours are working at the right times of day. So let's have a look. Um... That is, Glopus and Rofi are both night owls. They prefer to work in the, uh... We'll need another bedroom, then. If I make one more bedroom, I can put move someone out of this and keep Glopus and Rofi sleeping in the same room together for a while. Let's make, uh, some deadfall traps here. They tend... They come through here a lot. In fact, if I put, like... Some slate walls here... We might be able to encourage them to walk through some deadfall traps. I like, this is a fair bit of walls to build, but uh, honestly, I think that would be really good. Because then anyone attacking from the top side, they don't like going through the marsh. So anyone attacking from like this side at all is going to is gonna come down through here and we can get some uh, deadfall traps. Slate chunks. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? What happened? Critical alert fire. Shiny liquor woke up and put it out. <laughs> Okay, okay, he dealt with it. <laughs> it's alright, it's just a little, I think a power conduit blew or something. <laughs> this ringer sounds though. This ringer sounds a little scary. Awake, what a wake up call. You're like, instead of your, instead of like a peaceful tweet, 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 twittering of birds waking you up, it's like, Rah! and then like end up oh, burning fires like going off right next to your face. Feels good, man. Oh, well, they carve, they carve art into the dresses too? <gasps> Struggle for Glopus. This furniture bears a depiction of an army advancing over a gorge. Glopus wields a mace defensively while glowing back. The subjects are in front of thousands of yams. 
This portrayal relates to a raid on Glopus's town on the 6th of Jugust, 5500. Hey, they, they finally told a war story. They totally finally told, I think it's like glowering back, like, you know, like intensely staring at the uh, incoming invaders. They finally told a war story. They've been telling, story, telling stories of serenity for the most part. Glopus is an epic hero standing tall against all those yams. <laughs> I think the yams are waving gently in the background. <laughs> I love the art in this game, it's so good. Manhunter pack. Uh oh, what do we got? Ooh, huskies, okay. Oh, four huskies attacking us. If we uh injure but not kill one, we could uh, potentially try and tame it. Huskies are a good pet, and they survive the cold world too. I will I'll try not to kill them, but they might die in the process of us defending ourselves. So we'll see how we go, I guess. All right, the Huskies are probably going to rush straight here. Where are they? Up this way? All right, they'll come down through here then. All right, everybody, get ready to defend yourself from the Huskies. Except Nano, because you actually don't have a weapon yet, so you can do whatever you want. <laughs> you can rescue people if they get injured. Kill them, make clothes from the fur? Well, I will do that if they die. <laughs> All right, guys, do what you can. Maim the Huskies, but try not to, in try not to kill them if you can. But a pack of hungry Huskies is more important to keep our souls alive. We're doing well so far. Shiny looker, get ready to shotgun, buddy. Uh-oh. Glopus is taking some hits. Uh, Glopus is getting bitten. Glopus is, Glopus is getting mauled. One of them is downed. Oh god, Glopus. Okay, looks like three died and one is down. Glopus, dude, are you okay? He took two gunshot revolver shots? Oh my god. Who? Position. Shot him in the back. <laughs> oh, it's one. It's one shot in the in the left leg. Globe. Position. I'm gonna actually I like line them up a bit better next time. <laughs> they usually just shoot over each other's shoulders, but I guess when the husky's right there, position's bad aim didn't work so well for us. All right, you go to you go to bed, and uh, Nano I think can uh, tend to you, so you should be fine. And let's have uh, Shiny Loka rescue this. Let's have a look. Who's this husky? Okay, she's got a couple wounds, but... Ooh, the lung is very bad. Death in eight hours. This is... Uh, see, We'll see if we can rescue this husky. Rescue the husky. And you guys go. This isn't just stopping after battle to have a, have a feed. Go, Shiny Loka. Rescue the papa. Rescue the papa. I'm going to try, guys. I'm going to try. And then... Ah, uh, what are you doing, Glopus? Glopus is tending to the husky. <laughs> no, no, no. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Can you look after yourself first? Tend to Glopus. Let's tend to the doctor before the husky. The husky will live long enough. We'll be okay. The husky will live long enough. I want to make sure Glopus doesn't have any infections or anything like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to want an indoor grow up, I think. Space is a space is the uh, big cost of that, though. I This is fertile land over here. It's under snow right now, so it's not very fertile. But uh, this is fertile land here, but it's a bit far out. So I'd need to like push my defenses out around it like this, which leaves me a lot more exposed. Um, but yeah, I could like put this under shelter and put some grow lights in there and then try and then just use the soil because it's already fertile rather than doing hydroponics. I think you can do that, grow inside as long as you've got grow lights. Maybe that's... Right, -oh, flash storm. I wonder if the snow slows it down. Okay, it's pretty far away if it's just localized to this area. Looks like the fire is not even taking, as long as it probably doesn't hit a tree. I don't think the fire is going to be much of a problem. And a solar flare. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the fuck, man? A storm and a solar flare at the same time? All my electrical devices have shut down. Oh, okay. It's almost morning, so that'll warm up a little bit at least. At least that's not in the dead of winter. It's still pretty bloody cold, though. Hmm... Um, this seems like a challenging map. Yeah, it is a, it, it's an interesting map. It presents a few interesting challenges. We have a lot of marshland, which restricts our building space a lot. So we have to like build out along the river. We can build onto the water a bit with some bridges. Um, but yeah, and then there's, uh, and then there's the river in the middle, which is a blessing and a curse. It's difficult to build around, but, uh, 
gives us access to windmill watermill generation. So pretty cool. Ah, oh, you need to be able to get outside, don't you? Well, actually, I don't know. If we let them outside, they might leave. No, no. Oh, you don't like cleaning, do you? We really need to clean this hospital up. Who's doing what right now? Position. Come clean. There's a lot of blood right here from the husky. Yeah, keep him inside until he's tamed, yeah. Maybe I should put some meat in here for him to uh, munch on? I mean, I think they feed it when they go to tame it, actually. It should be fine. Nano's gonna feed Glopus, very good. Position's taming the husky. I think that I think that feeds them as well, so it should be alright. Yeah, yeah, she feeds them to tame them. 17% chance of taming. Might take a while. We'll get it, we'll get him though. We'll get our little husky friend, and then a sub can be named. Our husky can be named after a sub. Let's make let's make a jacket. Let's make a duster. Make a duster out of Clear all. Specifically dog fur. <laughs> dog leather. There we go. Make some dog leather. Make some dog leather duster. It takes how much? 80 ingredients. How much do I have? It's, uh, 75 plus that bundle will be... should be 80. Mad Carabo. Carabo. Uh-oh. Is it just the one? We finally have some animals back in the region, though. Poggers. All right, it's just the one, apparently. How many? How much wildlife is back? There's another red fox, which is apparently injured. Something injured it. Man, we actually have some animals moving back into the region. Hell yeah. This place was just a desolate <laughs> wasteland for a while. It is majestic, isn't it? It's majestically dying all over the shop right now. Hey, nice shooting. Shiny Lurker didn't even get here in time. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice, free food. Stand over here, then I'll have to come through the water to get to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep shooting, keep shooting. It's fleeing. Kill it, kill it. Take it out, I want it for. Nicely done. Nicely done, everyone. So we're waiting like... Not tomorrow, but the next morning. We're going to go out and try and get this this power armor. Try and do this trade for power armor. Getting some power armor would be amazingles. We could like... Whoever we put it on, we'll, we'll just stay alive. Give them a metal helmet and they'll just stay alive. How's the spear? Normal spear. Alright, well, better than nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that spear. She likes melee weapons, so we'll give her a melee weapon. Alright, so we will do any preparation we might need for this journey. We have, I think we have a decent amount of stockpiled food along with simple meals. I should bill a couple simple meals so we can take a few extra for the journey. Because we'll eat those for the first few days and then eat the survival meals after that. We have some medicine that we can take. Take a couple of medicine. Is there anything else I should take on a caravan to go trade with these guys? Um, I don't know. I need to take some flak pants. Hopefully I can just wear them. One of the new menus will tell you what they want and what they have to trade. Oh, really? Show what they will buy. Oh, so I could actually do some other trading while I'm there. And I guess the, I guess the power armor thing is just like an extra bonus. I have some good stuff. Oh, this is what they'll buy. Actually, never mind. All right, are we leaving now? Is now the day to leave? Or was it was it tomorrow? I think it was today. I think we want to leave today. Three point eight days left. Yeah, I think we want to leave today. Okay. So who are we gonna take? Nano's got a peg leg, so Nano's a no. I don't, ugh, taking both my doctors seems like a big risk though. But Shiny Lurker's too slow. 
I mean, it's a trade mission. Maybe I can just take two, right? I don't know how likely we are to be to attack, but... In my mind, this is a peaceful trade mission. So... Maybe I don't take Glopus. Maybe I take Position. Character has some social skills. Nano is our best, but she's got a peg leg, so she's not coming. It's too long travel for peg legs. So maybe Position and Rofi? Position is the traitor and Rofi is the guard? Maybe that's the way to go. Wouldn't the best caravan to raid be a trade one? <laughs> True. True. Position and Rofi. We leave Glopus behind as a doctor. Shiny Look is slow and Nano is slower, so those guys can stay behind and defend the colony. I think that's probably the way to go. Position and Rofi. Let's do it. Okay. World. Form caravan. I'm so nervous. <laughs> But if this goes well, it'll be super worthwhile. Okay, let's take some herbal medicine. Just in case. Let's take away four herbal medicine. And take some food, obviously. I'll take all my survival food. 3.4 days of food, plus a couple simple meals should be enough. To... That's plenty of food. Just take five days of food there. There you are. more stuff we take, the slower we are. Maybe we want to minimize the speed and just take, like, barely anything. Just take my silver, maybe. Let's see if we can buy something here, potentially. The pants? Oh, the pants! The pants! <laughs> the bloody pants. Where's the flak pants? And the flak pants. Okay. The pants. Thank you, chat. Guys, I'd be I'd be doomed if it wasn't for you guys. Damn. <laughs> the freaking pants. Okay. And accept. We good? We got food, we got medicine. I don't have sleeping bags for them. I think, yeah, actually, we should, oh, but it, I think it's too late. We sh I should have made the sleeping bags in advance. It's not necessary, but I think it improves their sleep while they're out. All right, that's fine. Let's go, let's do it. Okay, so they're going to gather up the items. They're little Just symbols now. Time. We should be able to defend the uh, colony with three people if we get attacked while we're away. Position on Rofi would be able to defend themselves from any smaller threats, but anything really nasty would be a problem. So hopefully they don't get attacked while they're out trading. Peaceful trade mission and not a trap. Let's, <laughs> let's cross our fingers for that one. I mean, the, the deal does seem too good to be true. It's like trading flak pants for power armor seems a little ridiculous. But, uh, yo... We're gonna try. We're gonna try. So Shiny Lurk has got, I've got like extra defenses planned. I've got some extra bonus deadfall traps planned um, for bonus defenses. All right, guys, best of luck on your caravan. I'll be keeping an eye on your progress closely. Are they already going? All right, they're already going. Uh, they didn't get out until midday, but that's better than any of the evening. All right, they're almost to the uh, dirt road here. Research finished, flak armor, hey. Nice. They've made pretty good ground already. Prosthetics. Hey, that would actually be pretty good for us. <laughs> we could replace uh, Nano's peg leg with prosthetic leg. That seems like a good idea. Building some power conduits, building a light. Look at you go. A good bed, a good wooden table, and an excellent wooden dresser with... It's called Seductive Aunt. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's a colony of... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> this furniture bears a representation of Mew Position Kraus getting a drink from Aaron Glopus's hunter while while gracious. <laughs> Yo, what? The area is decorated with orange and green. The work has an expressionistic feeling and a horizontal structure. Unusually for this kind of work, a dragon fades in the distance. This illustration tells the story of Position attending Glopus's party on the 10th of December. <laughs> Why is it called Seductive Art? <laughs> I can't believe we haven't been attacked yet. I thought we'd be attacked the moment they left. Or like when they were halfway past the turning back point. <laughs> they foraged? They actually foraged. Wow, okay. That's awesome. So they did keep up their food a little bit then. Yeah, they're almost there, man. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Yeah, there's so much detail in this game. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, like, the details in this game. It's insane. Everyone's pretty happy right now. Feels good, man. They just ate a survival meal? No, why are you eating my survival meals? Eat the simple meals. Those are going to expire. <laughs> okay, so they're not smart about which meals to eat. God damn it. 
Silly people. Oh well, at least we have enough food and no one's gonna starve to death at least. That's something. Visibility, 36. What affects this? How easy a caravan is to notice? Multiple chance... Multiplies the chance that a caravan will be waylaid by enemies. So visibility does not affect your ability to find things you want. Visibility is based on the total body size of all people and animals in the caravan. So if you have a bunch of moofalos with you, it's much easier. Two people traveling by themselves are far less likely to be noticed. 36 visibility, right. Compared to like a long long train of moofalos. Makes sense. Oh, some of their apparel has become tattered. Can, well, can you like deny the... Survival mills? Don't think you can. We're there, guys. We're there. Hey, here we go. I don't know what trade. How do I do it? <laughs> How do I trade? Oh, here we go. The buttons are down here. Okay. Fulfilled trade offer. Offer flak pants for power armor. Confirm. Poggers! Okay. Sometimes sometimes the game has you zoom into their map and you actually wander your little dudes around on their map. Other times it does stuff in the map uh, screen like this. I guess this is the case where it's like this. I think if you attack them, you obviously zoom in. All right, we can trade. They have a rooster. Poggers. All right, let's sell our stuff first. I'm not going to sell my food. Sell my spare berries I picked up. <laughs> yeah, I'll let, I keep, let them keep the berries. All right, we're going to keep our medicine. We're going to sell our sculpture. We have power armor. I bought a sculpture for 120. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's see what they have to offer. What the hell's a sh psychic shock lance? One new psychic effector. It shocks the target's mind with chaotic images, blocking coherent perception and dropping him into a state of psychic shock. There's a risk of brain damage. It works at long distances and through walls. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, man. Jeez. Okay. Hyperweave. 59 hyperweave. I can make like a hat or something out of that, but then again, if you're going to use a hat, you're going to use a helmet. I don't know if that'd be enough to make a shirt. Rhinoceros leather. I have some herbal medicine. Me a psychite tea. Psychic soothe pulsar. Psychic insanity lance. <laughs> Damn, man. Driving him into a berserk state. So expensive though? Oh yeah. How much would it cost me to buy all of it? All of my money. <laughs> That's an, that is an expensive shirt. Hmm. Nah, I, I'm, I'm low on steel, but there's actually heaps of steel I can get in my map still, so I don't think I need to buy steel. Let me buy like a little bit of medicine, maybe. Plus steel? Plus steel's also pretty expensive. I don't know about spending like 800 bucks for a one-use thing. It seems a little bit unworth it. I don't know, I guess there's not much for me here. I made a bit of silver out of the trip, I guess. Yeah, I'll get some cloth. Cloth, I think, is a good one to bring back. Not super exciting, but we can build some real nice stuff out of it. Relations changed, relations improved. Bringing back some cloth, some medicine, and most importantly, a suit of power armor. Excellent power armor. 140% protection from sharp, 54 from blunt, and 64 from heat. <laughs> Also, it actually is quite insulative too, so they can wear it 24-7. Slows them down a lot though. I don't know, can I like trade here on the way back maybe? Because I kind of go past it anyway. Damn, you could actually like arbitra trade arbitrage in this game. I don't know if it'd be very worth it, but, but you possibly could. I wonder if we'll be able to go get that item stash. I'll stop in here, see if there's anything else I can buy on the way. I still have some money. 230 silver and I have some... Like, I could resell the cloth if I wanted to buy something else there. It's going to take 1.1 days to get there. Or totally 1.7 days to get here. It's only a slight detour. Plus, it's roads all the way. 4.3 days of food, so... The only risk is that we get attacked. I think that's fine. You guys can start heading towards the other village. Alright, so now it's just whether we get attacked, attacked in the meantime while they're returning. Dude, I'm hyped for some power armor. It would also be sweet. I feel a bit more confident. I feel emboldened by this some half success so far if this is successful then i'll feel emboldened to go potentially trade for this uh ch masterwork charge rifle which sounds kind of amazing but <laughs> we have a bit more time to prepare for that one as well they only need seven dusters so we can try and make some dusters shiny lurkers getting the defenses built up cold snap <laughs> so we're like halfway through spring i'm like oh the snow is finally melted 
I was like, the, the, the snow is finally melted. Growing season starts right now. Like, the growing season is literally starting right now, today. And then it's like cold snap. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably, I don't know, like a week of freezing cold again. The snow is coming back. God damn it. Damn, man. That's brutal. Glopus, don't, don't plant plants, man, because they're just gonna die. Nano, though, with the spear could be good here. Oh, dear. Oh, position. Retreat, position. Retreat. 